want to show a video here. Uh, <clears throat> this is a common problem on these revolvers. Uh, I've, in the past and different times, I've glued these grips together and stuff, and, and that's really good um, in certain cases. Um, I've had a couple of these that have been really stubborn, and I've, I've done what I'm about to show you here, and it's not worked. Um, for one reason or another, the rubber had just, you know, shrunk up. This one here, I should be able to fix it no problem uh, with this method, and it's a really good way of doing this, but you've got to be careful to do this. This, this. this is a great method to use. You see how you've got, we've got a gap there. This is a little loose, but still there's a gap. Uh, basically what, what you do is remove your grips, and go ahead get your screw out because you're going to hammer right there screw out grips out now you're going to take a V block of some type or you know, something like that that's what you're looking for and a ball peen hammer and you're going to hammer right down that V block. Now, keep in mind, you know, these grips are curved, and so as you hammer, you're going to have to hammer a little bit, you know, get it where you're, you're wanting to be right down the middle and then right down the middle. So you'll kind of, you'll have to angle it. So you've got, you've got metal inside of there. And so what you want to do, there's metal down in there. That's what that plate is. So what you're going to do is you're going to hammer right there, and you'll have to hit it harder than that because you're trying to bend it. I've already done these. I'm just doing this as a you know, comparison here. You're going to hammer it there, and when you get about to the middle, then you're going to angle it. You want to stay down the center line. And then stay right down the center of that metal plate there. And what that is going to do is it's going to bend it in the middle and it's going to cup the entire grip like that. That way whenever you tighten it down with your screw in the middle the outside of the grip is going to be cupped and you're going to do both sides like that to where you, you want to bend it right down the middle. Then with both sides cupped, you're going to reinstall get your screw back in tighten it all up there and if you go too far just put it on a flat plane and hammer it on the outsides, you know, or put you a little uh, little screwdriver down the middle or something to give you another ridge. It's just kind of like working with body panels and stuff. And what's going to happen here is as I tighten it down, because now it's cupped, we're just going to close that gap up, which does not happen normally when these things have been pried off of there. You know, when people people pull these off, especially if they don't know how to, they'll get something underneath there and pry, and they'll pry and pry, and it's pried it up, and it's convex when it should be concave. How you like the word drop there? Yeah, <laughs> check out the brain on TDC. look down there and it sucked it right up. That's my little tip for fixing grip panels on a revolver. Thanks for watching.